What's up, Old Bridge? I'm Julian. And I'm Julia, and welcome back to the Nightly Wrap-Up. Did you enjoy your four-day weekend? I did. It has really started to feel like fall out there with the crisp, cool air and the trees changing color. Fall is like a second spring, where every leaf becomes a flower. That's beautiful. Albert Camus, sighting source, shout out Miss McCann. Anyway, fall always makes me think about Friday Night Football, and this week's game was crazy. The football game this past Friday against Edison was about as exciting as it possibly can, with multiple changing leads, huge plays, and a thrilling ending. In the end, that game ended in a tie with Liam Knowles forcing a fumble inside the one at the end of the third overtime. Check out these highlights. Good stuff. Oh yeah, the new school year presents many challenges and we at the Nightly Wrap Up are here to help you with some sage advice. Sage advice? You know, wisdom. Oh. Here's Aaron Handy with some handy tips to help you out. Welcome to the first episode of Handy Tips with me, Aaron Handy. Today's edition is all about getting yourself ready for the upcoming school year. Tip number one, keep organized. Tip number two, make sure you do your homework each and every night. You're doing the right thing. Tip number three, try your best to avoid the staircase by guidance. There are other alternative routes. There's a staircase in the English hallway. There's another staircase in the new way. And there's a staircase over here. Tip number four, get involved in extracurriculum activities. Try out for as many sports as you can and sign up for as many clubs. Most importantly, the last tip is to make good decisions and do the right thing. The field hockey team continues to roll after beating Cerebral 3-0. They're now 7-3 on the season. I don't know if you watched the debate this week, but it made me think, these are really crazy times. Aren't they always? I suppose, but with the election featuring two incredibly polarizing figures, it seems there are just so many provocative issues out there right now. Aren't there always? Um, I'm trying to segue into our next segment. Oh. Anyway, here's a new segment with Ray Rivera and Ashley O'Donnell, where they tackle some of the provocative issues of the day. It's the other side. The world is full of controversial issues. And sometimes we're only able to see our side. But we're here to see the, the other, other side. side. Uh, my opinion on freedom of speech is we should definitely have the right to talk freely, but I feel that some people don't do it correctly. Freedom of speech, I mean, if you want to say something, do it. Just, I feel like, know what you're, I'm like, just take in mind what you're going to say before you say it. I mean, say all you want, but people are going to come after you um, either way to do it. I feel like that personally, like, when it comes to freedom of speech, that like, you can, there's only like a certain extent to it. Like if someone is put into harm, then you need to stop like saying the things you're saying. Um, I feel like you should honestly like, you should be able to say what you want to say, but you should have the common sense and the decency to like, know what's right and wrong. Like I feel people should say whatever they want to say, unless they're in like a serious situation, like in school or like having like a meeting with someone, they should be able to like limit themselves and like have a filter. But like other than that, I feel like, People should be able to express themselves however they want to. If you say something, don't get mad when people get mad at your statement because that is your right of freedom of speech and is their right of freedom of speech to say what they want to So all the seniors going to the dinner cruise tonight, have a great time and send us pictures at the nightly wrap-up page. We'll have pictures for you next week. Well, that about does it here. Wait, wait, wait. I wanted to tell you what happened to me this weekend. What? I was painting a pumpkin when I dropped it and it cracked. That stinks. It was all right. I fixed it with some pumpkin patch. Get it? Pumpkin patch? I get it. Well, that about does it here. I'm Julian. And I'm Julia. And remember, it's, it's always, always nighttime, nighttime in Old Bridge. Bridge.